Hi, my name is Arthur Z. I'm a poet. I graduated from Lawrenceville in 1968. It's such a pleasure and honor to be returning 50 years later. Today I want to talk a little bit about certain elements and principles that have helped inspire me to take my art, my poetry, to the next level. Persistence is really crucial. I write best early in the morning when I first wake up. It's almost like I'm still in dream time. If I can get a couple hours in, first thing in the morning, uh, that's essential to me. And I'm not waiting around to be inspired. A lot of people have the innate talent. They may not have the stamina and discipline and know how to go about taking it to the next level. So I think it's important to find people who can really inspire and challenge you. They're working creatively in other disciplines. The great question in particle physics is where does matter end and space begin? And I thought, oh, I can apply that to a poem. I can think of language as full, and then the silences as charged moments. I can look at a weaver who's dying with indigo or cochineal. I can learn from that creative process. Yes, I love talking to other poets, but uh, I don't want it to be claustrophobic either. Finally, when you think you're getting good, be humble. There's no end to the learning. One of the things I like to recall is, in a beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the experts, there are only a few. You don't want the public or other people to just expect a certain kind of art from you. You have to keep growing and evolving with your life. It comes back to that poetry is as essential as breathing to me. It's my life work, I'm passionate about it, and I don't want to be stuck by it. These are ways that I can take my art or continue to take my art to the next level. My friend Pri and I are uh, co-presidents of the Lawrenceville Line, which is an online poetry publication. It was really amazing having him come here today because we got to bring in a poem and he would kind of critique it. And despite a lot of people in his life um, saying it wasn't the smartest decision, he knew that he wanted to do what he loved.